Hey guys, my name is Eitan, I'm a sound designer for motion pictures and I'm doing this short series of videos on how to improve your sound as a video editor. Today I'm going to talk about AAF files, what is an AAF file, how to export it correctly, why do sound designers need AAF, and I'm going to also show you how I, as a sound designer, use AAF with Pro Tools to start a project. So first of all, what is AAF? AAF stands for Advanced Authoring Format. We have Audio AAF and Video AAF. And of course, we are talking about Audio AAF. So when a sound editor opens an AAF file, he's going to have all those clips arranged in exactly the same way in his DAW. A DAW is a digital audio workstation. In addition, the AAF is going to allow him to open each clip from both sides and extract from their ambience, room tone, foley sounds, and even simply fade two clips together. So how do we export AAF files? We simply go to File, Export, AAF. Now we don't want to export OMF. OMF is a similar format, but it's older. So AAF is the new format. And from my experience, it's also more stable. So now you'll have to make a few selections. Mix down video and use tape sources when present. I'm going to leave that unselected. Break down to mono, yes. Enable that. Render audio clip effects. So usually the uh, sound designer will prefer to work on the original audio clip. So I'm going to leave that unselected. 48, 24, just leave it that way. And then you're going to be asked to choose between embedded audio and separate audio. So how do you want your AF to be? You have two ways. The first one is all the sound together in one file, which is great. I prefer to have this embedded. And the second option is to have the AAF separated into audio files and the AAF itself, which tells the program how to arrange the clips. All right, so I think that have it embedded is much easier and much better. So embed. And the next thing is to choose between trim audio files and copy complete audio files. I think the best thing is to trim the audio files uh, and leave 10 seconds handles, which is more than enough for any sound designer from both sides. All right, so I'm going to choose OK. Now we're in Pro Tools. I already have my video clip in the session and I'm going to simply import my AAF file all right, now all the clips are arranged in exactly the same way as they were inside Premiere, but it's now on Pro Tools and I can start working. So the next thing is to move all the clips to the different sections here in my template. So I have the upper part for voice tracks and clips. I have the middle part for uh, all the sound effects and the bottom is for the music tracks. All right, so I'm going to move everything now. All right, so now all the clips are inside the template. And um, first of all, I'm going to start by um, editing the dialog. All right, so when I, I edit dialog, I first of all make sure that everything is balanced and all the low syllables are boosted and all the high syllables are toned down. And uh, then I'm going to use noise reduction, EQ, compression, and other tools to make the dialogue cleaner and brighter. And then I'm going to go to the sound effects section, add sound effects, add follies, record things to make everything more interesting. The next step would be to make sure that the music works well with the video. And the final step is to mix everything together and make sure I'm on the right standard. For example, if I want to mix for a TV commercial in Europe, I'm going to use EBUR128, etc., etc. So that's it. That's the, that's the reason we use AAF. If you have any questions, comment below. And that's it. Thanks.